Hey YouTubers, happy homebrew Wednesday, Mr. Sparty here. So, I just poured some of my uh, cider out of my keg. So this is my uh, English ale cider. So... Definitely very tasty. So, let's start off again like we do every week. Thank you to all my subscribers. I have my hair over 200 right now, and I really thank you guys for taking your time to watch my videos. I'm going to cut over to a really quick shot of my SJ Pour beer because I have a question for you guys, so I'll be right back. Alright, so here you're looking at a little over 5 gallons. I did my best to get all this cleaned out, but man, what a mess. So this has got all the raspberry puree in it. See the bottom or not? It's got the cacao nibs in it. So I'll probably let this sit for probably about uh, seven to ten days, and then pull a sample off it. So and then here's what I ended up with left. That's probably I'd say maybe about four gallons, if I had to guess. I think the five gallon mark is, you know, somewhere around here, so it's probably right around four gallons. And then this has got the cacao nibs in it. So I may end up kegging this one. I can't decide yet, uh, or I may bottle them both. We'll have to wait and see. That's my, uh, you know, my apple raspberry wine there. That's still sitting there conditioning. But so there you have it. There's one half of the SJ Pour beer. And then that's the other half. So we'll check back with these in 7 to 10 days. Then I might as well go ahead and show you the aftermath. You can see how much uh, yeast is in here. Look at that. Let's see if I can get it to... That's just like an avalanche of chocolate coated yeast. Just a huge amount. So there you go. So this I'll update this again in about seven to ten days. Okay, so my question to you guys is with my SJ Pour beer, I split that off into two carboys, both on cacao nibs, but in one of them I put a couple cans of this raspberry pie filling. So the question is I have for you guys though is how the heck do you guys get that stuff in there a carboy cleanly? Because I'm thinking next time maybe I'll just add it in primary because it made just a complete mess and was a nightmare. I was going to make my own puree but I just didn't have time so I just bought a couple cans of that. Maybe next time I'll try to make my own puree and make it a little more liquidy then maybe I can put it in easier so I don't know how you guys do it. Uh, you know, just give me any advice on that, I'd appreciate it, because it, it it was a nightmare getting that in there. So, also, I have bottled my Scottish Ale Cider. I did not get a chance to shoot video of that, because my nature hit us pretty hard. We got our power knocked out for two days, or internet knocked out for three days, so... You know, I just decided, since we had a lot of dead time, I'd go ahead and get that bottled. Um, so I went ahead and bottled all that. I ended up with uh, 20 and a half liters, I believe, when it was all said and done. So a pretty good amount. I'm going to give that a couple weeks, uh, see how it carbs up. And if it starts to carb up, then I will put one in the fridge, and then I'll do a true side-by-side -side on the ciders. Um, I went ahead and bottled a couple off my keg of, my, of this one here. So I figured I'll just crack both bottles in a couple weeks just to do a good side-by-side. Uh, what else? Uh, so, like I said, the SJ Pour beer is coming along in about a week. Uh, I will probably bottle one of them, and then I may keg the other one, or I may bottle that one as well. We'll see. My electric project is kind of on hold right now. I have everything I need. I just don't have a Dremel to cut the lid for some of my parts. One of my buddies has a Dremel. I'm just waiting to hook up with him to, so I can borrow it from him. Um, I'm 
I'm still hoping to get that project going. My uh, conical, which you guys have seen it before. It's sitting right there on top of both my kegels. So that's still a work in progress. Um, I just uh, haven't had the time. I need to get some wood to cut out a frame for it. I've got too many projects going on. Not enough money, not enough time, all that good stuff. It'll be good summer projects when it gets nicer out to do some of that outside and get that going. So, other than that, I don't have any more updates. I'm going to keep this one short again. So, thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate it, like I said. I've watched a few of your videos so far and commented on them, and I will continue to do that uh, in the next couple of days as you guys put them out. So, as I say every week, cheers. I hope you guys have a good rest of the week, and I will talk to you next week. See ya.